Hi, in this video, let's have a look at file history. It's, it's like versioning, okay? Basically, if you're in a business where you're kind of like, shall we say, modifying the same file lots and lots of times, for example, a video you edited a lot, or if you're doing code, or maybe if you're writing a novel, for example, or you're doing graphics where you have that one file or multiple files that you keep using the same files and you keep changing it, maybe adding a little bit more, changing it, removing a few things, etc. And you make a mistake or every once in a while after you press the save button. And you've realized that you actually want to go back before the save. Okay? Now, by having file history set up, enabled on your computer, you can actually do that. Okay? So basically, how do we do that? Okay, we just go over there and you can type in file history. Okay, and it's that. Say backup copies of your files with file history. Okay. All right. Make sure you have an additional drive where you can actually save stuff to. Okay. And make sure it's of a sufficient size. Okay. So basically, turn it on. That's the first step. Okay. Now it's turned on. Okay, now basically you can, shall we say, select drives. Okay, which drive you want to have it sent to. Okay, you might want to save it to a network location. Okay, let's just go back. Okay, that's at a later time. You might want to change it. Exclude folders, any folders that you don't want to have, because it does take up a lot of disk space. So you might want to exclude things. For example, if you're having certain libraries like your music or your pictures if that's not your thing that's going to be constantly changing if you're a programmer you might have it in your documents or somewhere else you know basically in those kind of like projects folders okay you'd probably want to have those and everything else excluded okay so you basically choose what you want excluded that excludes it save changes that's fine okay you have advanced settings okay save copies of files how often do you want to have it done? Every 10 minutes if you're busily working with files, okay, and you make changes quite a lot, you might want to have it that every 10 minutes, okay? You might want to have it daily if you're not that, shall we say, um, operational with it. However, don't forget, for every save, it's taking up more and more disk space. So basically, it's keeping multiple copies of the same file on the disk so you could go back to a previous version, okay? Okay, if you're part of a home group, you can join a home group, basically have other people use your area, okay, you can look at the event logs, okay, any errors that happened, etc. regarding these backups. Okay, so now, ah, whoops, one little tiny thing. If you're getting tired, okay, you have a lot of stuff over here, and you want to clean up your drive a bit, okay, all but the latest one, all in the month month old okay delete all of the extra stuff all those extra files okay you can clean it up okay let's go here let's go to documents don't think we excluded this one let's create a text document okay and basically that'll be there you save it okay now if the setting was every 10 minutes, a backup's made. So basically, what happens 10 minutes later, if I was to come in here and then, shall we say, add that on, and then click Save, okay, what I'd be able to do is go over here and restore personal files, okay, and then choose where it was. It's in Documents, okay. It hasn't done any backups because it's every 10 minutes. But you'd find your file over there and the timing and all that stuff. And then you could just click on that and restore that one. And that would be nice and easy. And then you're back to your original file. Hopefully this has helped.